So we've got some better news from the uh, physio room. If you have a look on the board at the moment, there's only three injured players on there. Um, Will and Paul Callum Byer are two of them. Um, they'll just go through what they've done today. Uh, if you explain to the, the people that are watching what you went through today, it'd be good enough. Uh, yeah, so he was just set a bike session by the new sports scientist, Chris. Um, he's come in and he's been really good with the boys. He's on his job and he cares about what everyone's doing. Um, so he set us a tough bike session and then just let us get on with our rehab side of things, which obviously Dougie's going through us. Um, but we're both progressing on nicely. Um, I'm sure Paul will tell you how he's at. Yeah, we are progressing on nicely, doing a back set. Um, and it's good to say I'm off my feet now, so I can finally walk and go to recovery starts now. Yeah, they're, doing, they're both doing really well. And you say uh, Paul Callum Bayer had a aircast boot on, he damaged an AITFL, so it's uh, a ligament in between your tib and your fibula bone, um, which he injured. So we have to put him in the cast to, to give that time to heal without flexing or um, dorsiflexing or plantar flexing his ankle, which would cause that ligament to be on, on the stretch and it won't allow it to heal. So he's had that boot on for that. It's been four weeks now. Um, the specialist said that he'd need it between four and six weeks, but he's progressed well enough for us to be confident for him to take it off, which is good. Uh, whilst they have got the boot and whilst Will is non-weight bearing, he can't put too much weight through his hip post his hip operation and he's not allowed to go into like deep flexion because um, that can irritate the labrum which he had repaired. So we need to make sure that they maintain their CV capacity. So the work on the bike, that helps. It's pretty much non-weight to partial weight bearing depending. Um, and you can also get them in the aquaphysio um, Will's done a lot of work in, in the pool, uh, aquaphysio, that's quite tough, but there's no force or there's no load through your joints. So it enables them to, when they are be able to come back and they can do pitch-based work and they can do gym-based work and they can start to run, they're not way behind in terms of their CV capacity. So that's good. And these two, they're, they're good lads, they're good boys. We've got good players here, they work hard. So um, you, you know that whatever you set them, they'll do and they'll do it in the right manner. So that, that's good. So that's good news with these two. They're progressing nicely. The other players who are not in the room at the moment, um, they've returned to training. Um, Anthony Wordsworth has returned to training. Uh, Quezi Appiah, um, Ruben Collins has returned to training. Uh, Adam Roscoe as well. They've all returned to training, which is great news. So we've been able to take their faces off of the injured board and put them back over to the, the fit side. Um, they're due to play yeah, 45 minutes of an under-23s game or a, a, a friendly or behind-closed-door game, ideally. And we like to, when people have been out for a period of time, just to gradually integrate them into their minutes. So they play 45 minutes of one game, 60 minutes of another game, possibly 75, 80 minutes of another, just to, to get them through. Um, if the gaffer needs them, we know that they're able to, to join them and be part of the squad. Um, Waggy came back and he trained last week and he was involved in the squad. Obviously, it, it didn't end as planned, but he was at least able to be part of the squad and come on off the bench. Um, so that's another body that we've got back. So we're getting players back. Unfortunately, it's a revolving door. So you'll get players that go out and you'll get players that come in. So we've got these boys that are, are, are getting fit. They're, they're not fit yet and they've still got quite a way to go in their road to recovery. Um, but we've spoke about those five players who have come back and they can now be added to the squad. Shane, all okay? Yeah, all good. He got elbowed in his jaw. Um, he said he felt his jaw clicking. Um, now the, the onus is on the club doctors to determine the, anything to do with the head, nose, jaw, uh, head itself. It, it's not the role of the physio anymore to make that call. So we spoke to the club doctor at Portsmouth. He had to look at him during the time. When he came off, he had to look at him again, he spoke to him again after, and it was more, listen, take some paracetamol, uh, you'll be fine. Shane came in, he, he'd done his recovery training session today with the, with the boys, and, and he was fine. If he had have come in today and he, and he felt any dizziness, he, he felt sick, um, he, he was unsteady on his feet, anything like that would have been a cause for concern and we would have taken him out, but, but he was absolutely fine. So that's just one of those occupational hazards, unfortunately. I'm just, Will's probably had a few of those uh, knocks in his head before. Uh, it, it happens as part and parcel of the game. Jack Madone? Jack, he's, um, he's doing really well. He's, he, he, it, was a, it was a minor hamstring strain, um, but we need to be careful. Jack's a young player. Um, when you said Jack, I was like, Who, who's Jack? We called him Rudy. Yeah. Um, so I'll call him Rudy. Rudy's a young player, um, and he, he hasn't played uh, probably at this level and at this intensity before so when you when when a young player starts and has to play it can um, 
he came to tell on their, on, on their bodies. So he had a, a minor tweak of, of, of his hamstring, which is, is better. Um, and today he went outside to do functional workouts. So he'd been working hard last week in the gym um, and we're just doing strengthening work, a lot of rehab in the gym um, and some CB in the gym. And then he went for a jog last week. It was more at his own pace just to get used to that again. And today he went outside working with Chris, as they mentioned before, our new sports scientist, um, to put him through his pace. He's done really well. So he's got a program this week. Um, I don't want to say when he'll be back, but he's looking good. Um, so it's, it, like I mentioned before, it's pretty much watch this space, have a look at the squads in the next couple of games and you'll see uh, when he's back. But he's doing well. We didn't want to put a date on Will, we've spoken to him in the past, but, but Paul Callum by that is good to see him back there. And it's, the it's really good. Initially we were thinking that Paul would be back around, around February um, and he's definitely on target for that. Um, but like I said before, the, the surgeon said that he should really be in that boot for four to six weeks. It's, it's four weeks today, is that correct? Four weeks today and he's out of the boot. So these are both doing everything that you want from professional players um, within A, looking after themselves, how they manage themselves outside of, of here. We're only here, uh, say, four hours of a day. Um, there are still 20 more hours of a day, which you have to make sure that they're doing the right things, eating the right food, resting, recovering, all those strategies that you need to make sure that you're going to give yourself the best chance of recovery. These players, they do that. Um, and it's commendable to them. Nobody wants to be injured. Nobody wants to be in here. Um, but if you do all the right things, the, the likelihood is that the progression, as much as we want it to be accelerated, it will be accelerated, but it will be safe. So there's no point in bringing people back too soon if you've not done it in the correct manner. Um, but these both do what you want outside of the club, which is really important. So they're, they're doing really well. Um, they're, up, they're progressing as planned. Um, if, if it is sooner, great. Um, but we always say, let's, let's just stick to where we are. And if we get closer to that, that stage and it's a little bit earlier, brilliant but let's let's not take risks um, and let's just go off of how, how they feel so they're doing really well absolutely thanks for the update Dougie no worries thank you